The mainstream view of the peopling of the Americas involves one or more migratory waves of Asian people traveling from Siberia over the Bering Strait, into North America, spreading from the west to east in North America, and into what is now Mexico, followed by Central America and South America. The assumptions built into this view of the Siberian First Model assumes that the earliest archaeological sites and spare point evidence should be located further and further north and west, with the earliest sites in the northwest of the North American continent. This is logical given the theory that this is the first area that prehistoric Asians would have populated after crossing the Bering Strait from Siberia. Stated another way, if Asian Indians were first into the Americas, then one would expect to find progressively older sites the farther north you look in the Americas, as well as the farther west you look on the North American continent. However, in actuality, the earliest archaeological sites have not been found in the northwest as the Siberian Asian first hypothesis would predict. Rather, the earliest sites are actually found in South America and Central America, and the eastern part of the United States. These findings are exactly opposite those you would expect to find if Asian Indians were first to populate the Americas. For example, as noted in the article, Kenosha Dig points to Europe as origin of first Americans from 2002, Dennis Stanford of the Smithsonian Institution, and lithics expert Bruce Bradley stated that if the original migration came from Europe, it would be logical to find more older sites in the eastern United States, as has been the case in recent years. Further, in a story published in the CS Monitor in 2004, the author echoed this general finding that the archaeological sites tend to be significantly older in Central and South America as compared to North America. In short, it was reported that a Clovis first approach fails to explain significantly older sites in Central and South America. This is opposite of what one would predict if the first Americans were Indians who migrated from Asia into the Americas. In other words, this pattern of evidence shows that the Indians, and their descendants, Mestizo Mexicans, Central and South American Indians, and North American Indians were not the first people to inhabit the Americas. Finally, as reported in the article, Immigrants from the Other Side, by James Chandler, quote, even before 1997, when a panel of authorities inspected the Monte Verde site in Chile and conceded that radiocarbon dated evidence of human occupation predates the earliest Clovis sites in North America by 1,000 years which makes it difficult to defend the theory of a north-to-south population movement, Smithsonian archaeologist Dennis Stanford was looking in a different direction for the origin of the first people that entered America. He was looking not west to Asia, but east to Europe. 